Hi, my name is Lucas Chapa. I'm a scientist in the Computational Ecology Group in Microsoft Research. And our mission in the Computational Ecology Group is to combine models and data to make predictions about the planet. So today I want to show you two things, a bit of software and a bit of hardware that we've been working on to make it easier and hassle-free for people to extract information about how, why, and where animals move in their environment. So the first thing that I want to show you is a bit of software now available on our website called Zoo Tracer that's really an arbitrary object detection computer vision application that allows you to track objects and video taken from pretty much anywhere. So here I have some video of bumblebees pollinating artificial flowers and I just want to show you how quickly and easily I'm able to extract the tracks using this software. Now this software has no idea what a bee looks like or how it moves. So I'm going to teach this software to recognize a bee and to figure out how and where it moves. So I clicked on the bee one time and you can see it immediately starts getting the track wrong. So I'll go down to the end of the frame sequence and I'll click again and you can see the software is doing a little bit better this time. But it's going to be that third click hopefully where I get the magic and the software fully figures out just what that bee looks like and where it's moving. So you can see really quickly and easily I've extracted the track of that single bee. But we're also interested in tracking much larger animals over much longer distances. And so to do that we've been developing some custom hardware, GPS trackers, that are unprecedentedly light, cheap, and easy to program. It has a small GPS module on it, a radio transceiver, and a triaxial accelerometer so we can tell how fast an animal is moving as well. When you put a device on an animal, not only is it collecting information about the environment that it's in, but it's also listening to and downloading data from all the devices on animals in its surrounding environment. So that's really great and really interesting, but still you're relying on animals to come within maybe 100 to 300 meters of each other for that data downloading process to happen. So to ensure that we actually get the data back that we so desperately want, we've been working to build custom drones, putting these devices on those drones so the drones can be listening for these devices on animals. When they hear them, fly over, download the data, and then really excitingly, they can take the GPS data, the spatial coordinates that's streaming off the device on perhaps an elephant, for example, and switch over to its autopilot software so that that drone is now locked onto that elephant and can turn on other sensors like high, high definition video cameras or temperature and pressure sensors, which we've been um, developing with .NET Gadgeteer modules. So I hope after seeing these two short demos that you're just as excited as I am about the way that new hardware and new software are combining to allow us to monitor natural environments in ways previously impossible.